My name's Tom, so I'm going to show you quickly how to build a UFO. It's on my own spaceship from there. First we click the polygon cube, then it creates a cube. Now, because we can see through it, if you don't want to, you just press 5 if you want to see through it. Press 4 if you've already done it. Now we have to pull it up so then it's not on the big square. Now, after that, we're going to go into scale mode. We just click on it. It's near the one with the circle, but it's got two arrows, one going to the back and one going to the right. Then I'm going to go into five, but I'm going to put it down. Maybe that's a bit bad. Mm, that's enough there. About one, two fingers, I reckon. Then we're going to right click on it, press face, click on one of the faces. Let's see if I can get it right. Now once we've done that, we press extrude, now we're going to pull it, pull that bit out we pressed, lower it down, lower the other bit down, and push it down. Now I'm going to press the space, now I'm going to go into the one where you can see the side. Okay, now you can see I've gone too low. So we have to press Z. Okay, now we're going down. Remember in light, that's when we stop. Now I'm going to press the space again. Go back into the normal mode. Click. Then we're going to go into the middle bit. Now we've got to try and fix it. Let's press Z. I have to Z it. Now let's make this a bit bigger. Now if you do something wrong, all you have to press is Z. So if I make it go to the side like that, and that's all what you want, all you press is Z. Easy stuff. So we're going to press Z again. Now I'm going to fix it. We might have to, like, that's big enough. Then we're going to bring it down again check okay a bit too much up a bit good now we're gonna do the next lot now we're gonna pull up pull the next bit this is gonna be the front bit we've already done the cockpit we do the front bit push it in push it down now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the wing And then we're going to press the Alt, press the left key on the on your mouse. Now we can see that the other one isn't selected, so we press the Shift and click on the other face. Now if you press Alt again and go to the left, you can actually see both sides. If you press right, you'll go forward. So if I show you... There you go, you're going forwards and backwards. Now, what we want to do now is the wings. So I'm going to go look to the side, use the alt again. Make sure it's done right. Now, we're going to press the little box on the red one. Push it in a bit. Then do the green one. Push it in. That's probably good enough. We press G. Now I'm going to press Alt again, left. Now we're just going to pull the wing out. Then we're going to lower it. Lower it. Now I'm going to make another piece for the wing. So before we even do that, we're going to press that little dot up there. Then we're going to push them down. So then we can make the other wing. This is a bit like a dragonfly. So we're going to press Alt again. Click the left. 
then click on the same thing alt left shift like normal and if you do that just click there I'll check the other side the other side isn't in I'll check the other side too just in case good we've got both sides selected now before we even make the other wing we're going to make a small wing this time now we press G again then push them out make them nice and narrow these ones I'm going to pull up instead of down now if we do that thing what we actually what we press is that so then because if you don't press it then one will go up and down and like yeah so if we click that what well, that um, little dot arrow we put it up we put those wings up there now instead and we'll make a nice big bit we'll forget about that if you want to do that so we press the shift and, and you know if that happens all you really need to press is Z but I don't really use it now we're going to press extrude because the extrude face has gone press that now we're probably going to have to press G again G so then we push them up maybe make them thin that's narrow then we're gonna push them back so we ha we do have to press that yellow circle again then we're gonna press the alt press the left then we're gonna push them back let's check Great. Now we're going to make lots of tails for this bit. So we press extrude, push it in, push the side bit in. Now we're going to click to the other one. Now if that happens, you can always do this. You click that, make it the other way, and then we press the shift, press that. Now what we do is we're going to make it little, these are our two tails. After that, make them nice and thin, we're going to press alt, left to turn, change it and push them back then we're going to make the top bit go up now because that happened we press Z I might have to press G so G is down there what we do is We're going to make them small, push them up, and push those bit forward. Now we're going to click on it anywhere without the dots. Now because we've done that, all we have to do is try again. Go to object mode. Now once we've done that, we click on that. We're going to go to polygons somewhere, one of those and then we're going to press smooth now we're going to press polygon face one go down and turn, the int and turn that one into number three and then we press the enter now once we've done that we get rid of it now if we look I'll press the alt and show you around how's that the UFO I hope you enjoyed the, the tutorial. Look under it. Yeah. And if you want to look 
inside all you press is that and then you go forward and that's all I wanted to say and that's it.